Hi, and welcome to my review of Season 1, Episode 6 of Little Women Dallas. If you haven't seen this episode yet, this video will act like a spoiler, so you might want to watch this video later. The name of this episode is Party Crasher. The episode begins with Asta, Emily, and Bree meeting up at a cafe. Asta is sketching some ideas for a cosplay costume. For those of you who don't know, cosplay is when you dress up like a character or something. Asta says that it's basically like Halloween for adults. She tells Bree and Dimly that they've been invited to a cosplay party that she's drawing with Ty, and she wants their help to find a venue for the party. Emily says that she's down to host the party, and Bree says that she'll dance at the party. Asta says that she and Ty want to open up a midget bar with novelty items, little drinks, and little stools, etc. Emily doesn't like the name midget bar because it's offensive, and it will seem like an open attraction or a circus. Emily says that she she will help Asta throw her party to raise money for the bar. She suggests that the Little People Bar be an, be an empowering thing as opposed to being an attraction. Asta says that's her vision. Amanda and Kaylee go roller skating at a roller derby. After doing a little bit of skating, they sit down and chat with Asta. They bring up the fight. Kaylee says that Brochelle has been texting her, apologizing, and wanting to apologize to the ladies. Kaylee doesn't think any of the ladies want to hear what Brochelle has to say. Amanda says Brochelle can apologize to her by paying for her tip too. Asta tells Kaylee and Amanda that she's throwing a cosplay party to raise money for, for the bar that she and Ty want to open. Kaylee suggests that Asta let her dance at the party so that she can make some money. Asta says that she will have to talk about Bree and Emily about that. In the next scene, Brochelle and her kids go over to an aquarium to meet with Kaylee. Brochelle apologizes to Kaylee and she, and she says that she never meant for Kaylee to get hurt and she thinks that they need to move on. Kaylee says that she hated every moment of what went down with Brochelle and she's glad that they can move on. Brochelle says that she wants to get the girls together again. Kaylee tells Brochelle that Amanda wants her to pay for her tips tooth. Brochelle says that she'll do it. Brochelle says maybe that she should throw a makeup party for the ladies at a place where you can get your makeup done. And she wants Kaylee to tell the girls that they're invited because if Brochelle does, they don't want to show up. Kaylee says that she doesn't know how the ladies will react to that. Next, Tiffany goes over to Kaylee's apartment. Tiffany notices how messy, messy Kaylee's place is. She picks up a man's sweater and she asks, whose is it and is it Casper's? Kaylee says no. Then they start talking about the makeup party that's going to take place. Tiffany says that she looked up the price for a makeup party at the place that they're going to and she saw how expensive it was and if Kaylee's paying for it. Kaylee says that everything is paid for. Tiffany asks Kaylee how the car wash went. Kaylee says that she didn't get enough money, and when she was going to give Tiffany the money, she had some bills to pay. And then Tiffany starts talking about how she's just looking out for Kaylee and stuff, and then she mentions how she's been hanging out with, with random sketchy guys. Kaylee says that there's no reason for Tiffany to question her, because she's an adult and she'll do what she wants. In the next scene, it is the day of the makeup party. All of the ladies arrive. Then, Kaylee tells all the ladies that someone else planned the party, and the person who planned the party wants to talk to the group. And then Brochelle walks in like, Hello, ladies. Then Emily thinks that the whole situation is just some shady BS that Kaylee pulled because Brochelle po filed a police report on a fight that she started, and if the words, I dropped the police report, come out of her mouth, she has nothing to say to her. Brochelle says that she hates what happened the last time that they were together. Brochelle tells Amanda that she's sorry she chipped her tooth and she'll pay for it. Amanda says that she's sorry for pouring the drink on her. And then Asta says that she appreciates what Brochelle did for the ladies. And then Brochelle leaves to get the makeup artists. Then the ladies chat a little. Then the makeup artists come out and then they do the ladies makeup. Bree says it's funny how Rochelle didn't apologize for kicking her or for filing a p police report against Emily. And she hopes that Rochelle knows that a little bit of makeup won't hide the fact that she's a... <laughs> Kaylee says that Rochelle went above and beyond to apologize to the group. And if Emily wants to hold a grudge, that's on her. 
Emily has the right to hold a grudge. She did not get an apology from her. And as far as she's concerned, the police report has probably been filed. Next, Bree, Emily, and Amanda go over to a restaurant. Bree says that she doesn't understand how Kaylee invited them to Rochelle's party, if Rochelle was the one who was apologizing. Tiffany says that she cannot believe that Kaylee just lied to her face after she asked about the makeup party. She suspects that something's going on with Kaylee. Then they all start talking about how when Kaylee needed money, she went to Emily. Emily says that she hopes that Kaylee isn't spending the money from the car wash on her new friend Chase. And Tiffany asks Emily if she's saying that Kaylee and Chase are messing around. Well, Emily says that they've been living under Kaylee's roof. Tiffany says that this behavior of Kaylee's is just another thing to add to Kaylee's list of bad decisions. Then the three question why is Kaylee messing with all of their friends and why not people from the rest of Dallas and then Bree says Kaylee just might get to that point one day. In the next scene, Emily and Asta go over to a costume store to help Emily pick an outfit for the cosplay party. Asta mentions how Rochelle is not invited to the party and the party is a fundraiser for her and Ty's bar. While Emily's trying on a costume, Kaylee arrives to the store. Kaylee asks Asta if she found out if she can dance at the party. Asta said that she doesn't know. Kaylee says that she needs money to pay back Tiffany, and she thought that she could dance at the party. And if she has to beg Emily, she will beg. I think that if she needs money, she needs to find a real job. When Emily comes out of the fitting room, Kaylee asks her if she can dance at the party. Emily asks her if she's going to bring any surprises to the party, like Rochelle. Emily tells Kaylee not to bring Rochelle to the party. Emily says that the party is not a gig, and they're not being in a circus attraction by dancing in costume. Kaylee says whether she's in costume or not, people are going to come see her dance because she's a little person. And if it puts a few dollars in her pocket, so be it. Emily tells Kaylee that if she wants to dance, don't bring any Rochelle or drama to the party. In the next scene, Tiffany and her boyfriend Austin go mini-golfing. Tiffany tells Austin about how she heard that Kaylee has been messing around with different guys and she's worried about her. Tiffany says that she doesn't want Kaylee to go down the wrong path or pick some bad apples from the tree. And little people have to be careful with who they mess with because some people have a fetish for little people. Tiffany thinks that she should get in contact with Kaylee's father. Austin thinks that's a great idea. Tiffany says that Kaylee is close with her father, and he tells Kaylee how things really are. She says that this is not the Kaylee that she knows due to her new behavior. In the next scene, Asa and Amanda work on their cosplay costumes. Asa says that she hopes that the fundraiser goes well. There's a knock on the door, and it's Rochelle. Rochelle comes in. Rochelle says that she came to write a check for Amanda's tooth. And she writes the check and gives it to Amanda. And then they start chatting about the cosplay party. Asa says that she would invite Rochelle to the party, but she doesn't want any drama. Rochelle asks Asa if she thinks, if she thinks she's the one who's going to pop off. Asa says that Emily will pop off. Rochelle asks Asa why doesn't she uninvite Emily. Asa says that Emily is promoting the event. Rochelle says that the fact is... Emily doesn't like her, and she doesn't like Emily back. Tiffany drives Kaylee's dad, Paul, into town. Tiffany says that when her father heard about what Kaylee was doing, the first thing he did was book that flight to Texas. Tiffany tells Paul that Kaylee has been hanging out with guys that she doesn't know. She says that Kaylee isn't acting herself. She says that she doesn't have a job, and she owes her $1,000 for her carpet. Paul asks if she's even attempted to make money. Tiffany says that she did, but not enough. Tiffany says that she doesn't want to ruin their friendship. Paul says that he appreciates how Tiffany reached out to him because he had heard nothing about the stuff that Tiffany said, and he will talk to Kaylee. It is finally the night of the cosplay party. Everyone arrives in their costumes. Emily tells Kaylee and Bree a rundown about everything at the party regarding their performances. Kaylee says that she's just ready to twerk and make money. Emily says that they're making money for Ty and Asta's bar. Kaylee says that she doesn't twerk for free. Oh, really? Well, Emily said that night she will. Kaylee says that if she knew she wasn't getting paid, she wouldn't have even gone to the party. 
Kaylee says that she assumed that the tip money would go to her and not Ty and Asta. And then Kaylee's friend Chase arrives to the party and he kisses Kaylee on the cheek. More people arrive to the party and then Wuda comes to the party with Casper to Kaylee's dismay. Kaylee says that she stopped messing with Casper after he showed his true colors. And then Casper, Casper is just obviously putting on a show for his friends saying all this stuff. He was all telling, saying to Wuda, he, oh, he can have my seconds talking about Kaylee. Casper asks Kaylee if she was messing with Bree's brother while trying to mess with him. She said no. Asa says that Kaylee likes to flirt with a lot of guys and that's okay, but she shouldn't have to be slut shamed and Kaylee deserves better guys. And Asta tells Kaylee that she should stand up for herself. Asta tells Chase and Casper that they're being that they're being a little disrespectful. Casper says Kaylee is the one who's disrespecting herself. And then Casper says Chase likes to <laughs> her and he doesn't. And then Kaylee goes to the bathroom and starts crying. Then Bree goes and checks up on Kaylee. Kaylee's crying, talking about how it's messed up, how Casper was being disrespectful. Emily goes to check on Kaylee. Emily says that Casper should not be saying stuff like that. Kaylee says, why would he embarrass her like that? Kaylee says that she does not understand why Casper is making a big deal. They were never together, and she doesn't understand why he's having opinions about her. And he should back off and worry about himself. Then Kaylee cries some more, and she says, this is what happens every time I like somebody. And Bree says to don't, not to let them get to her. Emily says it's not worth it, and to fix her attitude, get back out there, and embarrass Casper instead. First off, if that guy Casper really liked her, he would have stood up for Kaylee. Why wasn't he standing up for Kaylee, instead of letting Casper talk all that mess? Should have been like, hey bro, chill, I'm just having a good time, get off, get off her head. But that goes to show that that is not the guy for Kaylee. She might not like to hear that, but that's not the guy for her. A real man is supposed to stand up for the woman that he cares about, even though they're not in a relationship. But if he's into her, he should stand up for her. Kaylee says that Emily is right, and she doesn't need anyone. So she's going to go out there, shake her behind, and show them what they're missing. Then Emily gets on stage and thanks everyone for coming to, to Asta and Ty's event. And then she has Kaylee get on stage with Bree, and they, and they start twerking. And then while they're twerking, Austin, Tiffany, and Kaylee's father, Paul, show up to the venue. And then Kaylee's father catches Kaylee twerking. And he's all like, what are you doing? Get down. And then Kaylee is like shocked to see her father. So after he tells her to get down, she gets off the stage crying once again. And that's the end of the episode. <laughs> Ooh, Kaylee in trouble now so that's a wrap that's all i have to say about this episode thank you for watching thumbs up if you like the video follow me on twitter at ilu more than this subscribe to my channel if you want to check out my other little woman dallas review videos you can check those out too and i will see you guys next time bye